what is up guys? My name is Ian and I help people take their mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Um, I, I'm actually sitting at my desk right now and I wanted to show uh, you guys what I'm kind of up to, um, kind of behind closed doors. And uh, if this is benefit, beneficial to you in one way, shape or form, that's all that I asked for. So anyway, when we look at my, my desk area, First, let's actually take a look at all the uh, dream visions I have. These are all just out of magazines and all out of uh, just uh, catalogs and stuff that I've picked up along the day, along the journey and in my days. And that's just really important because you need to constantly like be visualizing kind of constantly be taking input and whatnot but uh, I do want to also point out my John C Maxwell uh, Bible this thing is ridiculous it's everything a leader needs and uh, I make sure um, I'm in actually in the process of reading Proverbs right now but I make sure I read um, out of the scripture every single day uh, just trying to develop that faith just trying to develop that trust um, because who more can you trust than God? My computer doesn't really work. This thing right here is all that it's running off of. I broke like the internal hard drive and stuff, so it's running off of that thing. So basically it's good for web searching and that's about it. I also want to bring up, yeah, there's my vitamins. Take your vitamins, kids. Journaling is huge, so this is my journal, not journal, it's more like my calendar, but every day I like write out what I want to do, like look at today, so Sunday the 4th, August 4th, 5 make awares, 3 what are you doing to get ahead, message drops, one super solid contact, and then I go to work. Literally, I got five make words today. I asked two people, what are they doing to get ahead? I only got two message drops, but it's just crazy how when you, you know, point things out, your subconscious just takes over. One of the greatest books I can recommend, How to Win Friends and Influence People, it's huge revolutionary especially in today's age when no one knows how to talk to each other and here's my painting uh, I'm actually in the process of becoming an artist and I'm just trying to do whatever I can to get ahead I'll probably put more white right up in this area probably darker in the back and then just top it off with white but last but not least the Holy Sanctuary Library. I don't even know how many books I have, but more than I can hold right now. And honestly, I don't think it's a bad thing if there's more. The, the five people you surround yourself with most and the books I read determine will you be in five years. And I absolutely like believe that 100%. And, uh, that's why I read so many books. That's why I'm doing, you know, art, surrounding myself with, you know, people who are entrepreneurs, surrounding myself with people who are successful artists, successful musicians, uh, people who I set out to be like. And then, you know, I break that down. I read uh, communication books. I read the scripture, uh, something to develop something deep within me that's internal that's more like more close than what you would normally think and it's crazy how powerful that is but each and every single day just focusing on you know that daily routine that daily schedule um, so every day counts and then making sure at the end of the day uh, tracking what you had accomplished and just really building that habit of just you know proper, you know, behind closed doors, 
you know, practice, uh, you know, conditioning, uh, preparation. And it's just so important that each and every single one of us get that routine down, their desk like life healthy and just, you know, all, you know, uh, resources working with one another. So hopefully you guys like this video. Um, it's just way different than I usually do, but uh, hopefully it was of use. Namaste.